Mr. Eclipse Trades posts that he just closed on a $2.3 million house in Miami. He's then immediately called out by Community Notes for lying about this. This guy has over 31,000 followers on X. And he has a Discord in which he is charging $50 a week to join his chat room. Now, if I'm just being very conservative here, let's say 1% of his community is signed up to his Discord. This means he's making over $15,000 a week and over $60,000 a month. And that's being extremely conservative. It's probably more like three to five times that. If you think that sounds ridiculous like I'm making it up, in the FTC filing against Warrior Trading, they noted that from 2018 to 2021, the company made tens of millions of dollars selling its programs online. There is a ton of money in this space, which unfortunately creates tons of scammers in the space. I'm sure as we're doing the intro to this video, you're thinking of a handful of more scams that you've come across in your timelines as well. Let me intro this video with this final statement. If someone is trying to sell you a lifestyle, they are lying 100% of the time. Let me say that again. If someone is trying to sell you on a lifestyle 100% of the time, they are lying. My life be like. My name is Tommy. I am from Tel Aviv, Israel. Now I live in Beverly Hills, California. Last year, I turned $3,000 into $4 million. That was just a few very high profile cases that the SEC and Department of Justice have cracked down on in the last couple of years being Atlas Trading and Warrior Trading. Atlas Trading was actually charged with pumping and dumping stocks and then Warrior Trading, a, a little bit less bad, was just charged with over promising profits if you bought his courses, right? But Here's the thing. There are hundreds of people still doing this stuff that just aren't being charged by the SEC. One, the SEC, FTC, Department of Justice just doesn't have the manpower to go after all these small fish in the grand scheme of things, right? And two, the way the laws are laid out, it's a little bit difficult for them to do so. If you see like the Eclipse Trader guy I showed you at the very beginning got called out on Twitter or on X, sorry, for lying about his post and lying about the money he's making. What needs to happen in order for the SEC to be able to come in and charge someone with pumping and dumping and why Atlas Trading was charged by both the SEC and the Department of Justice is they have to admit it. There has to be proof that they are making these stocks go up in order to dump them into their followers, which is next to impossible unless they are dumb enough to admit it, which if you read through the Atlas filings, I've actually made a couple of videos on this already. They're pretty funny. You can see them admitting it in public forums. And there was even a rat within the Discord that ended up leaking a lot of their private Discord messages to the SEC, which is pretty awesome. I think it's awesome. I think all of us out there that aren't scammers think that's pretty awesome. But so what I'm trying to get at is just because only those couple of people have been charged and you don't see that many cases being charged and maybe people on Twitter, once again, like Eclipse Trades aren't being charged, it doesn't mean they're not scamming you, right? Doesn't mean they're not doing crummy stuff. Um, Atlas was doing things like CEI. CEI was a huge one. Atlas was doing things like pumping this stock to the moon, selling it to their followers. Uh, Wish was another one. They pumped Wish to the moon. I can't remember exactly where. It might have been this pump here. Pumped this to the moon. We're selling it to their followers before, of course, it all crushed down. And this is happening over and over and over again across the market. And it's not even always just that. Oftentimes, it's just people lying about the money that they have so that you will go sign up for their Discord, sign up for their course, whatever crap it is. Let me tell you this. I've been in the stock market now for over eight and a half years. This summer will be nine years. I've been in the stock market for a very long time. I promise you there's no information out there about the stock market that you can't find for free on the internet. So many people buy these courses because they think there's some secret they're going to be able to unlock behind this paywall. 
There's not. You don't need to buy a course. Everything you need to know is available on the internet for free, I promise you. And secondly, these Discord chat rooms, there is thousands and thousands of free chat rooms out there with amazing traders in them. You do not need to pay for a chat room. These courses, these chat rooms, these stock pick 'em groups, etc., that don't provide any proprietary value. They're just ripoffs of free information or just a freaking chat room. It's all a waste of money. And, and I don't want to necessarily say they're all scams because not everyone goes about it in such a scummy way, right? There are people that sell courses. There are people that run chat rooms that aren't flexing rented Lamborghinis and, and parking in front of rental houses, right? But um, they're not necessary. It's not a necessary spend of your money. Now, I also want to say this. I think people that have been burned by that kind of stuff in the, in the past or just people that recognize that kind of stuff, kind of like you and I do, they take it one step too far as well, right? They then go, everything's a scam and they don't want to spend any money on anything. There are things that you can spend money on and you probably should spend money on to make yourself a better trader, such as a trade journal. I spend $30 a month on a trade journal. It's my mo it's my my best spend, my best monthly spend that I currently expense. A trade journal is very, very important and having an automated one is worth the money. A trade scanner, having a real-time scanner that can load in stocks set to your custom settings, very, very important, probably worth the money. Of course, I have custom indicators, so of course I'm going to bring it up, but you know, custom indicators, just whatever it is, something that's providing you I don't want to use the word tangible because it's software. You can't actually touch it. But for lack of a better word, tangible intellectual property. You are actually getting something when you pay for it, right? You're not just getting, once again, regurgitated free information or access to a chat room, whatever crap that is. It's unnecessary spend. You don't need to. You can spend money to help make yourself a better trader, to help speed up your process. Um, just as startup companies do, much like your trading account is, you can spend money on things. Just make sure you are spending money in the right areas and you're being careful out there. I'm going to leave you with the age old mantra. If it's too good to be true, it probably is. Oh my gosh, this guy bought a Lamborghini and a mansion in the last 12 months and I can sign up for his Discord and follow all his trades I'm gonna also be able to he didn't and you're not going to be able to it's not that easy trading's not that easy if anyone tries to make it sound easy and tries to make it sound like if you just pay for their service it's going to be easy simply stay away from it all there is to it don't overthink it. That's it. This game is hard. It's going to be hard no matter what. There are areas that you can spend in order to help, but don't fall for the Lamborghini Mansion bullshit. With all that being said, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. And on the outro screen, I'm going to put in a video of one of my custom indicators. So if you're interested in looking at some real proprietary information that you actually may help you, check out that video next trading stocks he talks about trading stocks it's important for you americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks <laughs>